I woke up that morning, uh, said goodbye to Laurel, uh, opened up our uh, son's room and checked in on uh, our two-year-old. He was sound asleep and had a cup of coffee. So I uh, jumped in the truck and uh, drove to Everett, Washington. weather was bad and uh, I was the first one there. We uh, got our uh, rigging all set up and went to the supervisors and they went up and uh, checked all our safety lines uh, and gave us the okay to start power washing. Uh, towards the end of the day we got to a, a location of 30 feet. So it was my idea to say, hey, let's pick it up and set it on the inside of the handrail. I was tied off at the time. I unhooked my lanyard, hooked it back to myself, and my coworker put his hands up and said no. So I climbed up on the handrail, Then something odd happened. Uh, something's not right. I was thrown back about 10 feet and down 30 feet. The hard hat came off, safety glasses came off, and I'm still almost in a panic. And at that point, I was completely lost. I didn't know which way was up and uh, landed on the back of my head first. So I tried to take a little breath and I couldn't breathe. And then uh, the pain went away. It got warm, it was peaceful. I don't know what you call that transition, but I was okay with it, it was, I was okay. And then uh, while I was in that transition, I felt somebody touch me. And a, a tiny, tiny breath finally came. And uh, it was my coworker who had run down the three flights of stairs. And then uh, he went uh, down and got help. It was Friday night and it was, it was about five o'clock, about time to go home. And my supervisor came to me and she said, you have a phone call. Nobody wants to get that phone call. And nobody, nobody wants to make that phone call. All they could tell me was that my husband had been in a serious accident and that I had to get to the hospital right away. So, between my tears and, and the rain on the windshield, I don't know really how I made it. I don't know how long it took. I just kept thinking, how would I tell our son? His daddy's not coming home. It's not worth it. You don't understand how many people are affected and how deeply they're affected when you have an accident. Just being unsafe is just selfish. And um, just, <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> 